Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown, and I'm really excited to introduce you to a great, powerful, generative AI technology called Adobe Firefly that is now natively integrated into Photoshop. This is fantastic. It's non-destructive, it's magical. You can enter in simple text prompts, and you can take an existing photograph that's yours and make it something really extra special. In this tutorial, I want to show you a step-by-step -step process where I'm going to take this image you see on the screen and I'm going to turn it into this image. Wow. Let's get started. Let's go right over to this image right here. This is my base image. There are no other layers. I'm going to start here with the basics. Check this out. The three dots here, you can pin your bar position into any location on your screen. I really like this feature. Notice that the bar here for generative fill comes with a variety of tools that you have easy access to. Let's get started. I've made my selection. I'm going to now do a generative fill. In this case, I'm gonna enter in some simple text. Let's put in classic car from the 50s just like this. That's it. You just type that in and select Generate. It will now give us examples of generated cars. Let's take a look at the variations it's given us. And we're going to notice right off that it's added a shadow and it's placed the car right on the plane here in the salt flats. Okay, we've placed a car onto my own photograph. Now I want to show you an incredible feature Check this out. I'm going to make another selection with the lasso tool. I'm going to make it right up close to the car. I'm going to swing around, selecting a large area. Once again, I simply go to Generative Fill here. And let's type in Reflection Pool Filled with Blue Water. That sounds great. Nice and simple, straightforward expressions. And then let's generate. Because I've made a new selection, it's going to create a new generative layer here, right over here to the right. It will then process this. Let's look at the variations of this pool. Wow, <laughs> look at that. I think it's this first pool. I want to point out something that's incredible here. Look how it's taken the salt flat texture and detail and created a pond within the same texture and detail as the surrounding salt flats. It even has created a shadow here on the edge, and it's given this, this reflection where I can see underneath the car because of the angle in the water would allow us to see under the car in this position. Okay, I want to add one more thing to the sky. Right over here, I'm going to go in and make a selection. I'm not going to center the selection. I'm going to make it right there. I want to add a cloud. Let's see what happens here. We're going to go to Generate, and we're going to put in Cloud. I'm going to select Generate. Again, a new layer is created. Perfect. I wanted a cloud that goes off the edge of the image area. To finish this all off, the grand finale that will really really blow your mind is that I'm going to expand the canvas. With the crop tool, I'm going to go and stretch it out and make a panorama. I'm now going to zoom back out a bit. Then I'm going to hold down my option key on my Macintosh and I'm going to stretch this out just like this. Go way out right there. Then I'm going to double click. I'm going to make a selection of the work area that we have right here. Now, using the tools here, I can invert the selection. That's the convenience of having these tools right here. So now I've selected the background area and I want to fill it. Get ready, here we go. I'm gonna close down my properties menu right now so I can see the entire image. And I'm going to select Generative Fill. This time, I'm not going to enter anything in. I'm going to leave it blank and let the AI technology determine what is outside the boundary region. 
And there it is right there. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, the sun has appeared. It has calculated the position of the sun. Unbelievable. There you have it, some of the basics and really amazing features found here in Adobe Photoshop and Generative Fill. Be sure and download this and use the new public beta that's just now available. Give it a try.